What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? You made me a Dame Drops is back in effect. I'm over here, in West Hartford, Connecticut, at our Red Robin. Why? Red Robin has this new brisket and bacon burger. Thing looks massive. Looks savory. Looks like it's gonna be a problem in the burger game because nobody does burgers like Red Robin. At least that's how I feel. That's like one of my spots when it comes to burgers. Straight like that. Let's slide on the inside, grab up this burger, see if it's worth the hype. Briskets and bacon. You ready for it? Right, big dog so what I'm gonna do definitely got to grab up the barbecue burnt ends and bacon burger I need yeah, two of them joints gotcha. I gotta make sure I take care of my videographer as well you know what gotcha, I'm saying gotcha. and we're also gonna get probably just one order of the barbecue burnt ends loaded fries mm. come with it come all the way with it look fam I know you see it for what it is and I'm talking about the burnt ends that uh they're pretty much cascading over the top of the fries, these steak fries, these little crispy looking booth that. Oh. Red Robin, Red Robin. Get a fork and let's get right to it. I don't even want to hold you. I don't even want to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, they're not fatty and soft. No, they're not. No, D. Stop playing with me, dog. Now, I already know about Red Robins. Seasoned up, and I do mean well seasoned, crispy steak fries. You take a bite, that potato, wild, crazy, fresh. We've been here many times before. Nothing has changed. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But what I'm saying to you is. They are on time with the barbecue burnt ends. And when I mean on time, the proper amount of fattiness on the burnt end. That seared up leaven provided a nice crisp bite on the exterior, soft, interior, tender, succulent, flavorful, sweet, savory, delectable. And now, I wanna get crazy, I have to get crazy. I wanna create a french fry bed and then put the burnt end in the bed. Ante up. Mm. That little light zang from the ranch dressing. Creamy, rich. The fries alone, these barbecue burnt end fries at Red Robin. It's a limited time. If you don't get up on the good foot, I don't know what you're doing with yourself. Don't waste the weekend thinking about it. Be about it. This is DC Darty, y'all. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all already seen him on the last video. You know this is the new videographer in the building. Hey, D. D. Get crazy with it. Don't even be scared. Yep, yep, yep. I ain't gonna say nothing to this man. I'm not gonna say nothing to this man. Is he my line to you? I lying to you, family? Cause you be eating good too. You be eating good too. You know good food, family. Hold on. Boy, that man got a look about him. That man got a look about him. Life changing. I can't wait for the burger. I need the burger at this point. This right here is teasing your boy. That burger right there needs to be calling me. That burger need to be calling me like R. Kelly's your body calling me. You know what I mean? Wild pause. Yeah, I brought up R. Kelly. My bad. I'm sorry. This is the first thing I can think of. So I said it. Shut up. <laughs> All right. There they are. Superman's coming through. <laughs> there they are. Superman, what you got for me, family? They got two burnt end burgers. Mm. Medium. Hot fries. To get your ketchup, salt, pepper, seasoning. Superman! Your, your, your job can't be easy, fam. Because I know your stomach. I can hear your stomach right now, B. <laughs> nah, 
don't think DC ready. Is DC ready? Is DC ready? Upside down. For extra flavor. Oh. Oh, massive bites. Big boy bites. Yeah, you got big boy bites in there. I don't know. Get at me in a minute, y'all. I haven't had a burger like this. Since I don't know when. Mm. Since I don't know when. Like that? Like that. Now, pinky up. I want to flip the burger upside down for extra flavor. I got to get at that thing. I don't know how to get at that thing, but I just got to get at it. Ah. I'm going to talk about it and be about it on this one, fam. Let me go ahead and pick this up. Spin it up on y'all one time. I took that bite. Now, that's potato bun action. The flavor ever so fresh. SBA soft bun action in full effect. Now, that ranch is working. It's working in an immaculate style because the flavor itself, again, it's a creamy dream. It's zesty. You got the zang on there. It got the tang on there. It's flexing in a very different way. But when you get to that beef, oh, give me a moment, family, because that beef is well seasoned, seared up on that grill, thick and juicy, dripping, dripping with that juicy love when you take that bite. And they didn't fake whatsoever with the bacon. You see that bacon, that's a good, that's a good grater bacon right there. Applewood smoked bacon, more, more, more than likely applewood smoked bacon, but the bacon been cooked in their perfection. Not too many fatty parts on that bacon. You're getting right to the flavor, right to the pork bite, the saltiness of it, kicking up the acidity levels on the pickle, breaking down that fried onion game, which is, again, just something else is adding to more crispiness on this burger. This burger is divine, y'all. And that cheddar cheese, a nice little cheddar cheese pull on that thing right there. The brisket itself, again, so soft, so succulent, that I got to be real with you. You're going to get minimal brisket action because it doesn't take over the beef unless they cook the brisket into the beef, which could be some next level activity. Mm. Instead of just putting brisket on top, might be brisket on top, brisket inside, but that's where I'm getting all of that wild exotic pork loving, wild exotic flavor on that brisket. You can't possibly go wrong no matter which direction you go when it comes to the barbecue burnt ends brisket and bacon burger this is a phenomenal burger here at red robin and something that you definitely need in your life one time for the one time do it once do it once but never not do it at all don't ever play yourself and of course the fries i already hit the loaded fries but the regular fries the regular fries too yeah crispy mm. that crunchy much for lunch I just got this in the shot just because I saw it whole nine. And I wanted y'all to see it for what it was and what it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we getting dessert next. Don't think I'm stopping here. I got y'all covered. We're doing a full-on meal. Mm. So, man, what you bringing over, cuz? That is a gooey brownie cake. I made it myself for you. Yo, come yeah, on, with the foods. strawberry on the side, kid? <laughs> that's how you so feeling? So Yo, good. Superman, appreciate you, bro. Got it. That's my man right there, Red got Robin. You West Hoffa, you know who to look for. Yep, Brian. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Brian in the building. Let's let you know something, brother. You got to be comfortable in your manhood. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You got to be comfortable in your manhood to sit here with two spoons to share a decadent dessert. I mean, they could have brought you one. You know? <laughs> Son, you know what I'm saying? No, we failing all summer, damn, you know I mean? V. You know what I'm saying? We over here with Lady the Tramp style, no spaghetti string, just straight dessert. You got your spoon on one side, I'm gonna have to have my spoon on the other. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, man, whatever. Yo, I'm gonna let you know, I hate the new iPhone. This is gonna be jittering, glitchy. I'll be trying, I have to tap it to zoom in and, uh, and focus. Mm -hmm. This is the new one too, fam. This new one? This is the iPhone 15 Pro new? Max. Damn shame. Extra nasty. And it's over here not even focusing on a piece of trash ass phone. I hate you, Apple. And they, you'll get your spoon and hit that, cuz. Hit that brownie, yo. 
Stop buddy. playing, yo. Put that, put the camera down. Dick, get the spoon. Get the other side of that, yo. You gotta experience what I just experienced before I give them the full review. Like that. Damn. All right, let me tell y'all something. A little trick of the trade I do when I film my food reviews. And for the up-close shots, I normally use my cell phone for the up-close shots. I don't use this one all the time. And I always have an iPhone. So every iPhone, over the years, consistently, autofocus, everything was on point. My iPhone, my brand new one, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I go to film something and I know it's blurry, fam. Like, I got to tap the screen for it to focus and hone in. iPhone... Apple, is Apple slipping is my question. Is Apple falling apart? Apple don't have it no more. With the new one, this phone was expensive, but this brownie, this brownie with the chocolate drizzling down, just sitting there holding on for dear life. Go ahead and fall on my fingertip if you want to. Miss Janet, if you're nasty. Look at this thing right here. It's, man, this is what you talk about, a luxury bite. Soft, the brownie soft, succulent. Mmm, whipped cream, creamy, rich. Wow, vanilla ice cream, cold and bold. I need more brownie. Let me tell you something. I'm lactose, y'all. I'm lactose nigalin it. And um, when you lactose nigalin it, you can't mess with anything dory, you know? But I be messing with everything dory. I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? This is the way I live, baby. Bubble guts and all. Boop, boop, two and on my butt cheeks. Okay. <laughs> all right fam sorry y'all i'm brown still in my mouth thank you thank you thank you for watching this video enjoyed it please slap it with a thumbs up let me know what other things you would like to see i'm just kind of just filming random goodies you know what i'm saying trying to get back to the core of this channel more fast food establishments are coming a lot of things are coming um i don't know if you guys have checked out this past sunday i'm trying to do uh sunday story time and just share more bits of my life with you guys I got some stories for you. I even got a time when I got robbed, B. You know what I'm saying? My man took out an old rusty hammer on me, too, son. I felt more disrespected by the hammer he took out versus the fact that I was getting robbed. And that was crazy. I'm like, nigga trying to rob me with an old-ass gun? This like, you couldn't even get some new joint? Like, you couldn't take your, your, your big brother joint? You gonna rob me with something you found in your grandfather closet from the, the war in 74? Like, I don't know, man. It wasn't even a f***ing war in 74, nigga. I was born three years later. <laughs> yo, whatever, yo, shut up. You know what I mean? Let's cut this video off. This video going on long enough. I'll see y'all next week, yo.